On Wednesday, May 30th, Kerala's left front government slashed fuel prices by re one With prices moving north every single day, this move from the Kerala government drew populist praise. Pinarayi Vijayan, Kerala chief minister, took the high moral ground and said, this is our message to the central government. At a time when the nation has been demanding a reduction in prices, the central government hasn't done anything. The state will take a 509 rupees crore hit because of the price cut, according to the chief minister. But the political message is clear. It's now the turn of the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP, in power at the center and in over 20 states, to match Kerala's move. However, beyond the re-1 price slash is pure political one-upmanship. The price cut will dent Kerala's revenues for sure. But not to the extent that the government suggests, a top Kerala finance ministry official told India Today TV, the basic idea is not to slash tax on fuels. But charge re-1 less per litre of petrol and diesel. That way the state will continue to earn from the high crude prices, sources said that the state is not ready to announce a tax cut as it will reduce the state's revenues if there is a downward revision. Arithmetic of Kerala Relief Kerala currently charges 34% state value-added tax, fat, on fuels. This is levied on the price of fuels that includes the day's refinery price central excise of 19 rupees and 48 pays on a litre of petrol or 15 rupees and 33 pays per litre on diesel. The central levy is a fixed amount. For e.g., if the refinery price was 37 rupees for a litre of petrol refinery price central excise, 37 rupees 19 rupees and 48 pays equals 56.4834 rupees percent Kerala VAT on this amount translates into 19 rupees and 20 pays Kerala government will now give. Please note that for a 2 rupees per litre refinery price of petrol, with central excise remaining the same, the state earns 3 rupees and 60 pays each a litre extra without the sacrifice. Plus the well-known secret is that petrol and diesel pricing are a win-win game for states as besides the VAT collection it gets 42% of the share in central excise as per the 14th Finance Commission recommendations. Why can't other states do a Kerala interestingly, while the retail price of fuels have gone up, the price dealers pay has come down drastically since 2013, the price of petrol charged to dealers during 2013-14 was 47 rupees and 18 pays. Per litre, way more than the current charge of 37 rupees and 19 pays, the government's effective tax rate on petrol in 2013 was at around 43% and presently it is a little over 100%. Similarly, in 2014 dealers had to pay 52 rupees and 68 pays per litre for diesel. In April 2018 the per litre price was around 37 rupees and 42 pays against the 72 rupees and 21 pays paid by the consumer according to the finance ministry's revenue collection estimates, the central government expects to collect more than 2.5 lakh rupees crore by levying taxes on petroleum products by the end of this fiscal. This is a massive jump from the gross revenue collection of around 88,600 crore rupees in 2013-14, in the last fiscal the collection was just above 2 lakh rupees crore. The center needs this money for the slew of Sabka Sop Sabka Vikas schemes. That's exactly the reason why the states too don't want to give up revenue, they too have schemes to fund.